now, would you believe, more dolphins. This time, the tame variety. A 24-year-old woman from York is giving up her job as a sales executive to train with dolphins in Florida. Paula Barnett is leaving her husband behind for three months to work as a volunteer at America's Dolphin Research Center. She hopes it will lead to a full-time job. The first purpose-built dolphinarium in Britain was built 25 years ago at Flamingoland in North Yorkshire. It was shows like this that captured the imagination of Paula Barnett. The stars are Lottie, Betty and Sharky, three seven-year-old females from Florida. And it's to Florida where Paula's heading next month to take a job as a volunteer at America's Dolphin Research Center. She's giving up her job as a sales executive with a printing company to make an impression as a dolphin assistant. She'll spend three months training without pay in the hope of getting a job somewhere. But vacancies are rare. There are only eight dolphin assistants in the whole of Britain. Today, Peter Bloom, the curator at Flamingo Lands Dolphinarium, put Paula through her paces in a quarter of a million gallons of salt water. A dolphin's tail is the equivalent of 80 horsepower. They live up to 25 years, and all the time they want to play. But what's the fascination for Paula? I've always loved dolphins from when I was very young, and I've been to lots of dolphinariums and seen lots of shows. Then my husband and I went to America on holiday a couple of years ago. We visited the Dolphin Research Institute, and where you have something called the Dolphin Encounter, and you're allowed to swim with the dolphins for 20 minutes. You pay $30, basically, in support of them and you swim with the dolphins for 20 minutes. And a little while ago, I had a letter asking me if I'd like to go out there and join them for the autumn. And so I leapt it with a chance.